will take it. That'll be a important story for a number of people to try to see what they can do. For the guys that are solidified, like O'Reilly and like a Demetrius Cotamonte, do you back off those guys a little bit more physically, knowing that there's other guys you're trying to get looks at? Yeah, we'll do that a little bit, but we don't want to lose their conditioning factor and everything, so I think they got to continue to play and we'll get a chance to catch up a little bit. They're getting their legs back. We'll give them a day off of practice. Um, we had walkthroughs and lifting and things like that on yesterday, but uh, we did give them one day off. Mark, what's the difference between scrimmage one and scrimmage two? Uh, about 20 plays. <laughs> <laughs> so, but, uh, you know, there's a lot to be seen there. You know, you have guys, uh, you have young players that have learned the system a little bit better, so you're looking for them to make a move on the depth chart and finding out what they can do. But it's competitive out there, so um, there's a lot of things going on, and it just depends on what position, what coach you talk to. You know, they're, they're able to, to sort of tell you, hey, this is where we're at here, this is where we're at there. So it's a different for a lot of people. That's enough double talk. Uh, here's some more. What, when do you want to name a starting quarterback? Uh, you know, I think Tyler O'Connor is our quarterback oh, right now. Okay, so he's the number one. He's the number one guy. He's had a good enough camp to, be, to say that right now. So, um, But will the other guys play? Possibly. But he's our number one guy. How did he do in the scrimmage? I thought he played well. Mike Panashuk, several of your yeah. guys have really talked about him and really praised him. Can you tell us about his performance? And is he in that two deep? Yeah, Mike's right there, one of those guys that are in the, in, on the fringe of the two deep. Here we go, he's Rangers on T1. Two and a half. But he's Rangers gonna, I think T1. Rocks he's punt. Good, T1. Good summer camp, and I think Rangers and Rocks punt. What is it like for a player like Julian Connor. Peterson to come back and get his degree? What does that mean to you? Well, JP, uh, I recruited Julian way back. And so, uh, you know, still keep in touch with his family and everything. So it's great. It was great to see him. And, uh, you know, it's, it's one of the things he wanted to finish. And he's really completed everything he's wanted to do. And so this is another opportunity opportunity for him to sort of uh, finish something. What does that mean to you, though, just as? Oh, coach? I love seeing Julian every time I get a chance to see Julian. He's a guy that made it, made it big, and uh, very proud of him. Mark, how's offense playing? That's good, Julian. Uh, yeah, I think you know. I think our offensive line is, is intact, and uh, we'll be ready to go. Mark, you mentioned O'Connor right now. Right now. Um, yeah. can I, how much stuff, stuff can I say without really saying? It? <laughs> pretty well. Can you say will he start week one? Is that who's that? Get O'Connor. I can say right now he'll start week one. What is the number two behind That remains to be seen as we move forward. But I think Damian right now, but you know, remains to be seen. We want to try and figure that one out as we go. Is this a pretty spirited week, given that what's at stake, or, or is the dog day set? You know what? It's very spirited on Thursday when we let them go. Yeah. That's when it's spirited. But we'll, we'll get to, we'll get them going now. You know, the scrimmage will be good, and uh, you know our guys will come to play today. We'll practice today and get, get things done today. So we'll, get things done. we'll be out here about the same as we've always been. Mark, you mentioned the battles.